Mr. Frank, recognized for two minutes. Mr. Speaker, we're here today to uh, observe a surrender. Once again, our uh, moderate Republican colleagues will hand over their tin swords to the Republican leadership. Um, they are very predictable. They're my friends, and it's nice to have predictable friends. On every important issue, the moderate Republicans have a, a failing three-step approach to the issue. Ineffectual protest, abject surrender, and denial. Now, they told us for a long time that this budget did not have enough funding for important domestic programs. Indeed, as part of this rule, we have what is called a self-executing rule, which adopts a resolution to mollify the consciences of the Republican moderates. Those are easily mollified. Uh, my colleague from Massachusetts said the gentleman from Florida said, facts are stubborn things. Facts are very different from the moderate Republicans. They are the opposite of stubborn things. They are among the most pliable things known to man or woman. So they have a resolution which says, in the summary, it recognizes the need to increase the president's labor HHS appropriation by not less than $7 billion. It recognizes it. It doesn't do it. It just recognizes it. And on the basis of being allowed to recognize what they claim is a defect, they're going to vote for this. And that's the deal that is made. Now, I would have liked to have debated that resolution, but it is self-executing. Now, people watching, I know we're not supposed to refer to them, but we can not address, we don't address them directly. We can explain things to them. It gets a little complicated. People might want to know, what do we mean by a self-executing resolution? In this case, it allows the moderate Republicans to execute their own moral principles. That's what's self-executing. It allows them to come forward and say, we wish we had more money for poor people, and we have a resolution that says there's not enough money for poor people, and we will vote for that budget that does not have enough money for poor people because we said it doesn't have enough money. And on that, some people consider themselves to have shown independence. If that was the spirit of independence that motivated this country 250 years ago, that would be the British flag up there and the representative, presumably, of the crown. So I hope we defeat this sham, and maybe the moderate Republicans will grow some spines. Gentlemen,